And that's one thing we Germans hate, it's if the timing is off. I am bored, what should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get to Believe it or not, there's something else at the post box. <laughs> I've been there like the day before yesterday. Um, and before that, there hasn't had had not been anything in a long time, or for a long time. And now two things in a row. Yeah, I feel so good. <laughs> um, so I'm going there now, and I think I'm gonna go to the real supermarket. It's called Real Rio um, to get some more frozen strawberries, bananas, and other frozen fruit. Um, because that makes me feel good inside to eat that. So I'm gonna eat that more, and I need some salsa. Remind me that I need salsa. Now in the comments. So guys, I don't know if you remember when I told you about my um, plans, like back in the days, I planned on becoming like a games journalist or something like that, <laughs> whatever you say in English. Um, and I like even through all of my studies, I always said, yeah, I'm gonna do that after I'm done. I'm gonna write articles for games and that's gonna be awesome and it's gonna be good. And uh, I even applied or like yeah I applied with a video to a company that does kind of these things my role there would have been slightly different I think I would have been responsible for editing the videos or their videos which is super boring in the end like just imagine you don't get to make the videos other people make the fun videos and you have to edit them how boring is that seriously I'm really glad actually that that didn't work out and I'm more glad even because today I watched a video on the channel behind He's um, that the dude who's doing that is a really cool guy from Berlin. He worked as a games journalist, and he quit or he was fired. I, I have really no idea how his uh, job ended in the end. Um, he hated it at the end, though. He and he was like a games journalist for years and years and years. Um, yeah, and, and pretty much what he said is, don't become one because it's super bad the job. Like it's shit. <laughs> And so I was like, yes, I made the right decision because I love making YouTube videos so much that I just want to put all my energy into that and that's what I'm doing at the moment. And so I, I feel reassured after watching this video, so I'm really thankful for you, uh, David. Thank you very much for your video. I actually really love this kind of weather. Um, I mean, I, I love sunshine as well, but like it's not super cold at the moment and it's like eerie a bit, you know, clouds and fog. Usually it's just clouds, but for some reason the fog makes it like all mysterious looking. Um, I'll show you. I don't know how much you can actually see. Probably not a lot. But uh, you get the gist, I hope. Because it looks, it looks kind of cool. Back there. And stuff. <laughs> like you can, you can see it in the front here as well. So guys, one more time at the post box. Let's see what's inside. Card in, card out. Retrieve package open. And there you go. Ah, it's from Grace from the USA. I know what that is actually. It's a picture she drew, like a portrait of me. <laughs> and it's awesome, I will show you in a second. So here's the picture. She even sent it in a little frame. How cute is that? Like, look how awesome this looks. This will definitely get a place on my wall, probably in my office because that's where I am the most. Um, is it? It is vain, isn't it? <laughs> to put that up. <laughs> but I will do it anyway. And Grace, no, I don't have a lot of these <laughs> portraits in a Vuko shrine. If anyone wants to send me portraits or anything that has to get Germanized, like pictures, that would be awesome because um, once I have enough, I can plaster my whole wall full of get Germanized pictures. How awesome would that be? <laughs> I could even make that like um, my new filming background or something like that if that ever happened. So um, yeah, I don't know. Guys, do that if you want. That is real, by the way, guys. I wish you could smell the air, guys. Like earthy, a bit pooey as well, apparently, because there are horses over there but mostly good air <laughs> here on the countryside. That's why I like living here as well. Like I don't I don't know how I would go in a like big city all the time without ever having access to real nature. And with real nature, I don't mean parks or anything like that. Because that's not enough. My haul, frozen fruit, soy milk, banana, and some salsa for my bean dip. I just wanted to close. 
the car again and run away. No, I need to get the groceries out first. You ever wonder why words are like they are? Like grocery, why is it grocery? Gr why is the word gross in there? I mean, it's not written like that, I know, but I mean, you say it like that, gross, ery. <laughs> the eerie. Eerie. Bam! Ich habe gerade mal wieder äh, trainiert. Und jetzt habe ich mir gedacht, machen wir doch ein paar originaldeutsche Kartoffelknödel. Natürlich nicht selber gemacht, weil ich das nicht kann. <lacht> Wer hätte das erwartet? Und ähm, ja, Kartoffelknödel mit Rosenkohl, äh, Brussels Sprouts und äh, Soße. Ja, lecker. Und später, dann pfeife ich mir noch irgendwas anderes rein. Vielleicht noch einen Smoothie. Hatte ich schon heute einen. Einen Smoothie hatte ich heute schon. Aber da kommt noch ein anderer hinterher später. Weil Smoothies davon kann man nie genug bekommen. Hier sind die Klöße, die müssen jetzt noch aufkochen im Wasser. Und dann 15 Minuten ziehen. Und hier ist der Rosenkohl. Der muss auch aufkochen. Und dann für 6 bis 8 Minuten bei mittlerer Temperatur kochen. Ja, so ist es. <lacht> so it seems I had the oven off the whole time on the stove. <lacht> And uh, the Brussels sprouts weren't cooking at all, and only the dumplings are kind of cooking almost. Well, that sucks. And that's one thing we don't hate, it's if the timing is off. Okay, a few hours later, after my super nutritious meal, which I completely forgot to film, um, I'm now done editing or writing some more script. scripts. Ooh. That was scary. <laughs> I wrote the Easter vocabulary script and um, made some changes to the Easter special, like the, whatever I will call it, the top 10 Easter traditions or German Easter traditions script. Yeah, and now I think uh, I, I will either film the Easter vocab script, but I really want to like make it look nice, like Easter-y, and I don't have stuff to do that yet, so maybe not. Um, hmm, what else could I do? Maybe I should just edit uh, another vlog or so, because I have that material, so I need to, uh, just need to edit that. But I really want to play games as well, <laughs> some video games or something. Uh, I've been so good with editing and stuff, like, I, I want to show you my whiteboard, because it has all the, all the things I already did on it, but I can't because then it will be spoiled. The surprises will be spoiled. Oh, not really, actually. <laughs> because this vlog will go up way later. As you can see, my handwriting is impeccable. Uh, impeccable. Here, the Easter special Easter vocab are the only two ones that I haven't done yet. Like, I only make the green little tick here once I have edited it, uploaded it, and made the thumbnail and all that good stuff. So, yeah. I've been pretty busy the last weeks. I always try to like um, do as much as I can. Like, once that is full, I feel like whew, now I can relax a bit. Um, because then I, in case I need the time, I can just take off some time. Like two weeks ahead, I, I, I get free, more or less, all the time. If I need to have these weeks and um, that's a good feeling because then I don't feel too rushed and stuff. I mean, it also keeps me busy constantly, actually. Um, I, I can do something every day if I want to, and most days I do. So um, that's good. And that's my healthy, healthy dinner. Healthy as food. Mm. Three bananas um, and lots of strawberries and soy milk and water. That's that. Mm. We sold our company left our old friends and moved here to Northern California. Well, now I'm watching I knew the great collapse Goodbye was World. Everyone says that now, but I... Successful know. indie movie, apparently. Our world was like a bubble, waiting to pop. I know I said I will eat healthy all the time, which I will, uh, but I still have these Reese puffs, like these Reese peanut butter thingies just as a cereal. Here, there you go, and I'm gonna try them for the first time ever in my life. So here we go. I put some soy milk in there. Probably not the same as normal milk, but whatever. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. I don't even want to know how many calories that has. 
I don't. By the way, guys, I think I did not show you this awesome contraption I built in my bathroom. Um, so our water boiler is broken. So this thing here, I don't even know if you call it boiler as well, maybe you call it water heater or something, I don't know. But uh, like it's dripping water out of here, like this doesn't belong to it usually. It's like dripping water from right there. Um, some, I don't know, some pipes in there are leaking a bit, not too much, so it's just kind of dripping, but if you don't put something there, like this thing, this, this pipe I put there, and then it's like splashing on here, and then the whole toilet gets wet, and all that kind of stuff. <coughs> and so I just put um, the, the, what do you actually call it, a pipe? of this old uh, vacuum cleaner on there in a bucket so it's gathering the water in there um, and it keeps it from like splashing everywhere a new one of those costs me 600 euros and I thought no way <laughs> no way I'm paying that at the moment especially for a water boiler, water heater, whatever in German we call it Wasser boiler so I think it's similar. No, it's just ridiculous. Like, look, I'm using a little popcorn bucket to, to catch the water. That's fine, isn't it? German engineering at its best. Good morning, guys. Oh, I look so terrible every morning. And I feel terrible as well. My eyes feel like swollen and ugh. Anyways, today I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hopefully do some work. Uh, film some videos, maybe if my Easter special uh, equipment comes that I ordered. I ordered the bunny ears that you see in the video and um, yeah I want to do that and tonight I'm gonna watch the first episode of the new season of Game of Thrones together with my good friend Nurgle. Uh, he asked if we want to watch that together and I said yes. I'm just printing off the script for being black in Germany because so many people have asked me what is it like to be black in Germany. Um, I decided to film it, to, to make a video about it. Even though I'm not black, obviously, I tried to like gather information and um, make a video. And with your help, um, the video can be even better because if you have any experience with being black in Germany, you can write it down in the comments below. Yeah, I completely forgot to film uh, while Nurgle was here. Uh, I, guess, I guess because we had too much fun just uh, watching Game of Thrones, then we watched a few couple of episodes of the fourth season of The Walking Dead because he hasn't seen any of the episodes yet. I've seen them all. <laughs> and uh, then we just discussed uh, things like politics all over the world, what's going on at the moment and all that kind of stuff. That fun stuff that I just get to do with him pretty much because when I talk with anyone else about that, they are just like close-minded and uh, just boring. <laughs> So yeah, he's uh, the perfect person to talk to when you want to talk about like these world views. <laughs> let's, talk, let's call it that. Um, anyways, I am, it's like 2 a.m. now and I'm really tired. I gotta do some more video work tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to bed. See you tomorrow. Toodles. Good night. Gute Nacht.